is on the right hand, hand hill, including that one there, under the railings. That's one of mine there. Quite a nice one actually. And I'll look, I'll show you this. Look at this beast. That took, that took me a while that, but look at it. Yeah. What a nice curve. Six foot high, some big stones in that. That's about three foot wide at the bottom. Got little post boxes in there. And that bit there. That one with the fence on, that curves Let's around there. There's a wall going around the back with a peach oven built in, that I built. So that's another one of mine. How many would you say you've built around here? Hundreds. Hundreds? Yeah, or I don't know. I suppose it might be easy to add it up in, in, in miles, probably a few miles. Yeah. Well, uh, I was just between jobs and my neighbour was a dry stone waller and he asked me if I'd give him a hand just moving a bit of stone. I ended up just having a go and he just said, well, carry on doing it. I ended up getting uh, offers from you know passers-by and stuff, which led to more and more work. I've never advertised or anything. I've just ended up somehow always doing that for the last 15 years. Well, obviously there's no cement in it. That's why they call it a dry stone wall. Like the dry refers to the fact that there's no cement in there. So what you've got, the two faces of the wall lean together and obviously if something's leaning this way it can fall if something's leaning this way it can fall but leaning together they're propping each other up but the stuff in the middle the bits you don't see the little lumps they're stopping it all collapsing and then when these top stones go on they're touching both sides and that downwards weight touching two places at once gives it uh, like that rigidity in theory they should just last forever if they've been built properly now and again, you've got to really stop and focus and think about what you're doing, but generally, I'm so used to like having the stone and knowing where to put the one that's in my hand. I'm on autopilot, really. Sometimes I feel like I'm not even looking at what I'm doing, but at no detriment to, to, the, to the work I'm doing, you know. You are literally leaving a mark. You are improving something that before was either broken or just nothing there at all. I suppose it's that sense of like, continuing a job that people have done for thousands of years, you know. Oh yeah, cooking on gas now. I'm nearly always on my own, unless I'm doing something for builders, which I try and avoid. To be honest, I prefer it, really. I mean, it's nice on a private job where someone's bringing out a cup of tea and, and what have you, but what I really like is when the customer's at work, I've got the place to myself, but places like this, you know, when you are out in the sticks, are nice to work. You know, there's a few farmers that I do bits of walling for. And it's great, you know, being up high and having, having such a lovely view. And I mean, really, I like to just pull the whole bloody thing down and... Uh, once you start that, we've got to put it back in me. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. then it's, it, you're going for it, you're going for every it walls down here, can't you? I know, but it... But, uh, they're pretty flaky, some of them. They're knackered, aren't they? Yeah. Really? But as long as they're up, they're up, aren't they? Yeah. So well, yeah. That's yeah. what I think, anyway. If you haven't any horses or cows, it's not so bad. No, it, well, it cows it's trouble, I know yeah. what I mean, rubbing mm. bloody walls, yeah. well, that's why I just keep them in these fields here, like, you know, yeah. and don't let them in these, like, so, no, you're right there. Right, I'll let you get on, okay, right. I'll just feed them, okay. All right. People say, oh, why don't you get a radio? And I did have one, a solar one, it was good, digital, and when it broke, I thought, oh, I'll get another one, they're about 100 quid. So then I just thought, do I really want it? It's all news anyway. It, it does get boring, for sure, for sure. But, you know, you finish it and then you, you go somewhere else. So, you, you, in a way, you, you're getting a new job every other few weeks. So, in that way, you do get a lot of freedom. Doing this kind of work, being bent over all day, 
it doesn't get any easier as you get older. And um, I'm always thinking of doing some something different, but you're just so in demand all the time. But it's easy just to carry on doing what you're doing. As long as you're making enough to tick along. But you know, you'd never say it was lucrative. I'd never say to somebody else, oh, it should be a dry stone wall, it's really rewarding or um, it's good money or anything like that. On a day like this, you think, oh yeah, it's lovely, but for that many days like this, most days, you know, a lot of spring, a lot of autumn, and pretty much all of winter are just horrible. Just bouncing. I can see myself doing this still, doing exactly the same. And I think with this job, because it is quite niche, people will always be asking you, even if you went to work for somebody doing something completely different, people would always phone you up and say, oh, can't you do it on a weekend? Uh, I'm turning stuff down all, all the time. People are always asking me if I can do stuff. But that's the downside of being on your own. You can't speed up, you know, you're already going your quickest and things take as long as they take. Hmm. Right in front of me. Take the wobble out or something. There, that'll do then. See you later.